Okay, here we are considering high frequency electromagnetic waves. So as you know, for the high frequency, we can neglect the contribution from the ions. Ions can be considered as fixed and they are not contributing into the dynamics of the plasma. So by taking ions as to a scale, we can calculate the current J1, which is coming entirely from the contribution of electron. So J is J1 is written as minus E N naught V1. So from where we are going to get this V1, we are going to write the equation of motion for electrons. That is, I'm not going to uh, linearize this equation again. This is basically uh, M partial V1 by partial T equals minus E E1. As you already know that uh, on the left side, we also have V dot del V. And uh, as we don't have any V naught, so that term is going to vanish. And we are left with only this time dilator. And on the right side, we have only the this electrostatic uh, electric field part, and there is no, as uh, you can see, you can V cross B. So as we don't have B naught and we don't have a V naught, so there will be no contribution from this term. The only contribution that is going to be is V1 cross V1, which is a nonlinear term. So we are going to neglect this term in this particular scenario, in this particular case. Because I am taking this, uh, as I have already told you, I'm, I'm first of all, I am going to discuss the electromagnetic waves in the absence of magnetic field. So by linearizing this equation, and uh, this is the linearized part, and then apply the perturbation m minus eta omega v1 equals minus e e1 so we have v1 as e e1 by theta m omega so this is my perturb velocity now I'm going to substitute it in the equation that we have derived for the electromagnetic waves in plasma. So I'm going to erase it now. So we have omega square minus c square k square e1 equals minus iota omega by epsilon naught j1. Now substituting the value of one that we have written as e1 v1. So we have minus iota omega by epsilon naught minus e n naught v1. And then substituting the value of v1 from the equation of motion is minus eta omega by epsilon naught minus e n naught e e1 by iota m omega. Now by simple cancelling iota iota omega omega minus minus plus so we have n naught e squared by epsilon naught m e1 and on the left hand side, we have omega square minus c square k square. As you remember, this term, this is the plasma frequency. So our expression will be omega square equals omega p square plus c square k square. So this is the expression for the electromagnetic waves in plasma. Or you can say the dispersion relation for electromagnetic waves propagating in a plasma with B not equal zero. 
So here we can see the vacuum relation that uh, of the of the electromagnetic waves, which was omega square equals c square t square, is modified with this term. So we, if we remove the plasma, or the plasma is not there, then we will again get the same electromagnetic waves. Uh, there are there are certain consequences of introducing this term omega t square here. And I'm going to uh, discuss about it uh, in the 